Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this lovely little 1.4 VW Polo S. It's the 75 brake horsepower, it's a 2007 model year, first registered in 2006 on a 56 plate. It shows three owners from new, but really it's only two. The third owner is the same as the second, but their name changed when they got married. Typical DVLA. It's done 52,000 miles. It's in good condition. There are some marks around the car as you'd expect from a private sale, especially one based in London. Uh, and it also hasn't got a full service history, but as you watch this video, it is just about to go in for a full service. It's got an MOT until September, the end of September 2013, and it's got tax until the end of September 2013 as well. Uh, now that full service that it's about to have will include the cam belt change as well, and that'll all be stamped in the book and the bills will be provided. Uh, as I say, it's got some marks on the car, You'd expect that from a car living in London. I will show you that in due course. But as we go around the car, you can see there's no big dents. Oh, there's me. Hello. Uh, there's no scratches or scrapes, really. I mean, there are some marks. I'll show you them. The wheels are a little bit scuffed, but really it's purely cosmetic. And by the time you get your hands on this car, it will be in absolutely lovely mechanical condition. And the cosmetics, well, saves you getting it marked i suppose let's get up close and personal with the car and i'll show you some of the marks i'm being very fussy here so you've got little stone chips like that on the bonnet but if you step back you can see that that kind of just vanishes uh, this is probably the most severe mark on the whole car uh, it was actually done very recently but as they're selling the car they don't want to spend the money to get it fixed uh, if you wanted to the whole front bumper to get it all resprayed and looking perfect would cost 150 pounds uh, and that's using a body shop that Sell Your Car UK recommends. So we're just focusing in on this here. You can see the mark there and there's a little bit of paint chipping around the edges. I'm sure you could live with it, but as I say, if you want to get that fixed, you could do. Uh, likewise as well, there's some scuffs and marks from the curbs that are around the alloy wheels, as you can see there for yourself. If you want to have a close-up look at these pictures as well, if the video is not doing it justice, showing you little marks there, tiny little marks there on the wing mirror, then do check out our Facebook page. We're at facebook.com forward slash sellyourcaruk.tv. Tiny little stone chips on the door there that have actually been touched in. Uh, and on the trim along here, you can see tiny little bits of marks. I'm being very fussy, but I don't want to waste anyone's time. So if you come down to see the car and you've watched this video, you know exactly what you're coming down to see. So we can see there that wheel at the back there's also got some stone chips. As we come around the back here, the rear bumper has those marks as you'd expect from things being dragged in and out of the boot. It happens to the best of cars. Uh, and around here, there's a tiny little nick where somebody's obviously hit it as they're in a parking space. Uh, I'm a big Nick. My name is Nicky. I run and own Sell Your Car UK. So if you want to give me a call or email Nicky, so N-I-K-K-I at sellyourcaruk.tv, I'll be happy to answer any questions and provide you with my phone number as well so we can chat about this car. Uh, this wheel as well has got some curbing. As I say, check out the Facebook page and you'll see all of these pictures up close and personal and you can view them in your own time rather than me rushing around this car. Although I'm hardly rushing. Uh, we've got another little mark just here on this wing mirror, probably a bit more severe than the one on the other side, but again, it's tiny. And if we come down here, we can just see uh, there's some marks on this wheel as well. Hopefully the sound's coming out okay. It's a bit of a windy day around here. Uh, as we come around the front bumper, there are some other little marks just on this side of the number plate, but it's very light. And you can see that that's really not very severe at all. Uh, the number plate as well has a little crack over there. Nothing wrong with this though. It's not an MOT failure. And as I say, it's got an MOT until the end of September 2013. Now let's open up the car and show you the inside, which is absolutely spotless. Really is lovely. This very funky seating. I'm just getting up close and personal there. Hopefully the sound's a bit better now as well. You can see the seating is absolutely cool as a cucumber. There's no stains or tears or rips or smells. There's no smokers that have used this car and there are no dogs either that have been getting in it or pets for that matter. Uh, if I take the, t the key out and show that to you as well, it's not remote central locking, but it is central locking. Sadly, they've lost the second key, so it only comes with one. Uh, I'll pop the key in the ignition just to show you it starts first time. All the warning lights go out except for 
oh, I was going to say a seatbelt one, but it doesn't seem to be showing me the seatbelt warning light either. Uh, you can see it's flashing inspection. That will go because, as I say, the car is going in for a full service. So by the time you pick up this car, it would have had that done. That's oil filter, fuel filter, pollen filter. Cam belt will also be changed as well. Uh, we've got air conditioning down here and that works absolutely perfectly it's tried and tested and we've got a CD player here as well there are these little velcro things which I'm not going to bother taking off because if you want to stick something like your mobile phone or a TomTom -tom up there then all you need to do is put a bit of velcro on the back of that and that will be working with that just perfectly uh, there's your automatic gearbox with a very cool silver chrome finish surround that's very funky uh, and I'll, I'll put the handbrake on I think that might be a sensible idea uh, I'm not going to go for a drive in the car because that would be illegal I haven't got a GoPro to sort of strap to here uh, so I'm just going to show you it but if you want to go for a test drive give us a call get in touch by email and I'd be delighted to take you out for a drive in it I'm being very fussy now but just to show you here uh, we've got a little bit of the thread has come loose there if you're handy with the sewing needle then you could probably fix that yourself uh, this car's got isofix as well so if you want to plug in your babies uh, then you can do so with ease and you've obviously got five doors on here so you can get them out very easily and as you can see it's very clean uh, I just want to show you down here because the lights reminded me of it there's a tiny tiny dimple dent tiny I'm being so fussy uh, but it's important I don't want you to miss anything and that said I'm going to come around to the boot now and I'm just going to open up the boot because in true sell your car UK style in the boot we've got the docks uh, we've got the v5 certificate it's showing two keepers now i'm not going to show you here for data protection the names but i can assure you that one of those owners is the same as the current owner just with a different surname because they got married and the dbla are nasty people when they want to be and they added an owner to the car probably there's a change of address in there as well but really it's the same registered keeper those are the old MOTs. It's got a current MOT that expires on the 26th of September 2013. And this is the service book. You've got the whole folder here from VW with all of your instructions. There's a lot of reading to do there on the toilet. And you've got the service book as well. Now there's only showing the one stamp in here. And that was done in 2008. I know the brake fluid was changed as well in 2008, in August 2008. But since then, it's not really had a service that I can see here and that I can prove. And that's why uh, at my recommendation and at Sell Your Car's recommendation, Sell Your Car UK's recommendation, I should say, uh, the owner is happy to service this car for whoever buys it off of them. So we're getting that done as we speak. Uh, it's in lovely condition, this car. It's gonna make its new owner very, very happy indeed. And if it's you, who is that new owner? Well, there's only one place to get it. Sell Your Car UK.